Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Rips. I'm Lance, today is Monday, so we're opening up some kind of mix box, subscription box, what have you. Today we have this Grand Slam Car Club, it's kind of a new thing. It looks a lot like the, looks the box is the same as the uh, Collectible Car Club. And actually the, the way they do it is kind of the same too, a little bit. Uh, right now they only have baseball. This is subscription based though, so when you go on there, just like Collectible Car Club, you go, you sign up for a subscription. It does say you can cancel at any time. I haven't tried canceling or changing my subscription, so I don't know how easy or hard that is. Uh, I, this is the, they have uh, two tiers right now. They have a rookie box and the all-star box, and it just varies on how much packs. You got the standard level, which is four to five packs, plus level eight to 10 packs, and the premium levels are 12 to 15 packs. I have the, I decided to get the rookie box plus level, so that, cause just because the price point was $40, and that includes shipping, so it just seemed like that was a, a good price point for me. So I'm supposed to get 8 to 10 packs. It does say they try to put mostly hobby packs in there. On his website, he's got some uh, GrandSlamCardClub.com. It's got on the, yeah, a picture of some of the packs there. And he has 2012, 2013, and 2014 Golden Age. I'm hoping to get some of that in there. I've seen the 2013 Golden Age. I've never opened any of the 2012 or the 2014. I think that's a really fun product to rip. It's because it's got a lot of different things in there. Fine. And, Obviously, he's got baseball cards and football and basketball players as well. And movie stars and all kinds of things in there. So, we'll see what we get. So, the standard pack, the standard rookie box is $23 a month. The plus level is $40 a month. And the premium level is $57. And then the all-star box, which I assume has more premium packs. The standard box is 4 to 5 packs and $50. Bucks. Plus level is $95. And the premium level is $135. So, so $40 with 8 to 10 packs, you're not going to find anything or hopefully... I mean, it'd be nice to find something big in there, but really, four dollars a pack. You can't. Uh, they're not going to be a whole bunch. And they do try to put mostly hobby. It says online, but there might be some retail packs in there as well. So we'll go ahead and rip it open and see what we can get. Seen this opened on, or I've seen somebody else did open this on another channel, a few channels. I did not watch it though, because I did not want to spoil mine. So let's see what we got. September 2020 box. So this is the grand opening month. A big thank you to anyone joining our grand opening this month and help us turn a dream into reality. As a thank you, oh, cards from my personal collection be included in this box as well. Two vintage packs. So you get some bonuses this month. Did not know that. Please share photos or videos of hits on Instagram or Facebook. And they choose two lucky winners a month for a special gift at the end of the month as well. Uh, Facebook, there's your, and there's all the information. If you're interested, Grand Slam Card Club, Facebook, Instagram. So let's get in here and see what we got. Like I said, hopefully we get uh, some kind of golden age. That's what I really was hoping to find. I actually emailed them and said, what pack, what product should I buy to increase my odds? But I never heard anything back. 2019 Series 1, 2015 Donruss, there's 2019 Big League. So there's some fun packs to rip already. Oh, there's the cards are on the bottom there. 2020 Opening Day, USA Champions. There's a, so the teal, I think that's the 2014 Golden Age. And... See, it's top series two, 89 Donruss, 88 Donruss. That pack's been seen better days. So, we got some pretty cool things to start. I assume that uh, these two are extra packs. This is what we would have got. Let's see if I can do this without revealing the cards he sent us. Save those for last. So, these are probably what we would have got with our pack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten packs. So, 10 packs of $40 all over the place, which I really like. 2018 Series 1 right there on top, so that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and rip into it. 2018 Series 1. I really like the look of the 2018 tops. This is my first year back in collecting, so I missed a lot of this stuff. But I really like the little splash design there. There's a Mike Trout. It's a nice one. I don't think I have that one yet. It's a cool looking card. There's a Puig. Trey Turner. That's a good one for PC. Max Scherzer, Cy Young Award winner. Rough Knitted Ore. It's cool looking. Lance Lynn. Good season. Chris Archer. It's not too bad. And Mike Trout. That's a. Anytime you get a Mike Trout, that's not too bad at all. It's 2020 opening day. Looking for Luis Robert Shortprint. Saw me open the hobby box. I did pull one of those. Another one would always be nice. 
Tommy Listella. Plus, you got some great rookies in here, too. Will Smith Gold Cup card. Rookie Gold Cup. There's nothing. Nothing in the 2020. Tops. What do we got here? USA Baseball Champions Hobby Pack. USA from 2013. Not sure who we're looking for in here. If there's anybody you even look for. There's George Springer on the back, so that's probably good. You know, the Astros hitters are not doing too well this year. Oh, here's something. Is it a hit? 15 and under team. Nope, just a champions. John. Hey, yo, these cards are really where he's 15 and under. See some really young players. David Dahl, he's made it. And George Springer. There you go. USA Baseball Champions. That's pretty cool. A couple of major leaguers out of there. Now here's that golden age. Like I said, pretty sure that's 24. Yep, 2014. we can get Marquise Haynes oh there's Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Electra and we got a mini of Jim Thorpe a Terry Bradshaw Frank Baker and a Crazy Legs Hurst that's a cool card for Los Angeles Rams nice so that was pretty cool to see like I said I hadn't opened that one yet 2014 Bowman draft. Not a big. Don't really know who we're looking for in here either. Imagine we're looking for our first first uh, first Bowman for Brian Anderson. Here's a Chris Bryant. Whatever they call this. It's cool. Anyways, a prospect. Top pros. Top prospect. Josh Bell. So first Bowman. So a couple. A couple more major leaguers from their prospects. There you go, 2019 Series 1. Open a lot of this. First started collecting. This is what I found. A lot of blaster boxes of this. There's a Shohei Gold Cup. Always miss the colored parallels in here. Derek Mo, Greatest Moments, Derek Cheater. They're just so subtle. Some of these. Aaron Nola. And a Blake Trennan. So, still looking for some kind of hit. So, we get out of this Donruss Hobby Pack. This is actually loaded with, from where the Hobby Box has it loaded with hits. So, hopefully, we can get something good out of here. Max Scherzer, Jimmy Rollins, Mike Piazza. There's a Bat Kings. There we go. Something. Adrian Gonzalez, Bat Kings. There's a and a David Ortiz and a Chris Bryant grandstand. It's a dude card. 2018 Big League. 2019 Big League, I'm sorry. Actually, I just started back and collecting. I hadn't opened any Big League till this year, really. And then I was looking at this year's Big League compared to like this other last year's Big League. This year usually this year's Big League is a way lot better than last year's Big League. There's a numbered out of a hundred card. Jorge Alfaro. We got at least got a numbered card, I guess. Put it up there since we're hits are not uh, few and far between. But like I said, really nice pack selection. Forty dollars for forty dollars. I like it all over the place. That's what I like to see. I want to. If I get a subscription box, I want to see lots of different things, lots of different years, lots of different products. I mean, getting the hits is nice, but that's just all luck. They can do it. Like I said, $40. Oh, there's something. Out of, numbered out of 10. There's a hit. Rangel Ravolo. Well, it was a rookie card. It's cool looking. That is my first one of those. Acetates. Clears. Had not pulled one of those before, so. Getting some, getting some uh, hits out of these last packs. So, last normal pack out of here. Elite Extra Edition 2014. Not even sure what this is. USA Bas Baseball. So I guess this is just prospects. Looks like it. Marcus Wilson. There's a numbered card. Luis, Luis Ortiz, numbered out of 150. I like the colors on that. So getting a lot of numbered cards out right here at the end. 
All right, so we'll save the 89 donors for last. Hopefully we can pull the King Griffey Jr. I actually do not have any from my old collection. I thought I did, and I couldn't, can't find them any of them anywhere. But when I was collecting back in the early 90s, late 80s, we uh, went to a lot of card shows, and you would get a table at the card show. So probably sold a lot of my Griffeys back then. Billy Hatcher. Nothing out of 88 Donruss. Last pack, 89 Donruss. Like I said, we're just looking for the Griffey. A little bit of wax residue on there. Give it the sniff test. Vince Coleman, Diamond Kings. Opened a lot of 89 Donruss. Will Clark, MVP. Rick Aguilera. Andres Thomas. I don't see any purple cards. That's what color. Well, there's a little. Ken Cam Caminiti. So nothing big hit out of that. And let's see what he sent us for extras. We got a Reynaldo Lopez, Lopez, Prism Signatures, and a Greg Maddox 10th Anniversary Team. That's cool. And a 89 Tops, Randy Johnson. I really like the old Expo cards. That's in pretty good shape. Old Randy Johnson rookie. 1990-1999 Decade Dominators. That's a cool looking card as well. Oh, thank you for that. That was nice. I guess if you're going to get into this Grand Slam, you probably should get in this opening month since we're sending out extras for the new. So let me know what you think of this product. Like I said, $40 was a, we, did the, we did the rookie box plus level. There's a whole bunch of different levels. And it actually looks like they're going to go to basketball and football as well eventually. Uh, I really like it. Looking forward to next month's box, I guess. Hopefully I'll get some more Golden Age. We got this nice, nice low numbered card out of 10. And this Bat Kings is pretty cool. Definitely feel the grid on there. We didn't hit any big stars, but uh, definitely lots of fun opening all those different packs. Let me know in the comments below what you think uh, of this product. Also, let me know what you thought the best card of the box was. I would have to say, hmm, actually, I like that. I've never pulled one of those acetate cards yet, so. Pulling on an Aztec card, even though, and it's a rookie, but not a big star, but that's still pretty sweet looking. So I will take this as my best card. Let me know what you think. Uh, everyone have a great day out there. Good luck to you, and take care.